Praticamente siamo arrivati qua, siamo 10 minuti in ritardo e cosa succede? Mm, ci lasciano qui. Sì, eh, di fatti abbiamo aspettato Cristina che ci chiamasse ma non ci ha chiamati e ora praticamente boh, facciamo un giro per la città fino alle 11. Questo è tutto. Ci sono qui anche Davide Ciao io. e lei. Si chiama Enrica, Enrica sono Enrica. Luca. Ciao. Ok, poi non abbiamo Sofi e abbiamo la ragazza di cui non ricordo il nome. Amanda. Amanda. Ok, Amanda Vietka, come non so come fare mai, ma scrivo Sofia. E Sofia è sto anche in the phone. Ok, le ho. Ok. Che belli che siamo. Mm. Ehi! Hey! Ha voglia! Per caso hai preso anche quello? No, sì. Ma dai! <ride> sì, ma Olli, magari non dirlo quando riprende! <ride> Niente, quando riprende! Che figura di merda! Che ho <ride> Chi ti guarda? È un video. Sì. Quella telecamera. Ma è la stessa cosa che hai detto stamattina. Cosa gli vuoi Voglio uno che parli in inglese. I'm uh, Anna Greta. Perché so? Disegni delle pareti.
paper to take uh, appunti, credo. Di che cosa parla? Eh. <laughs> no, seriamente, ah, okay. di che cosa parleremo? In, in inglese, se eh, da ambo le parti ci fossero grossi problemi di comprensione, credo che con l'ausilio di eh, Cristine o eh, direttamente in italiano provvederemo a chiarire. Sostanzialmente questa, questa presentazione servirà lo spunto per, per il dibattito successivo. Um, this presentation will be able to get items for the successful uh, debate and uh, we, we have a short uh, story of urban planning in Asti from the ancient times to, to now and then two or three uh, cases of discussions about problems of, uh, of planning. Uh, this is a view area uh, of Asti and um, you can see in the center of, uh, of, the, of the area a uh, which was built about uh, 100 years ago are uh, out of use. We have uh, the, the problem of the transformation of the ex-industrial areas. The map is uh, about this, uh, this map. We have a, a, a large uh, territory which is uh, uh, composed by fields, uh, by hills. You have uh, here you have a, a plain, uh, plain uh, ground, we have a, a hill ground, and we have many uh, little towns uh, in the municipality, but uh, one, each one of these and has an important uh, history. You can see all these are, uh, lit are villages, uh, some of them also with uh, an important history. Um, the, 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 the most area is uh, agricultural, as you can see, and uh, you can see the, 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 the plants of, uh, of wine. Uh, the suburban area is about uh, 87% of the total uh, of the total length and uh, it has uh, an high landscape and the ground value has a high vulnerability and uh, a request uh, for territory transformation but uh, uh, environmental and landscape sustainable the, the goal is uh, to, to to make the transformation of the area uh, uh, in uh, uh, with sustainability, we have uh, uh, rules uh, uh, in Abacus. We, we think that the, the best way is uh, to show how to do the transformation in that area, and uh, we uh, try to show this uh, with uh, that. Uh, this is an example. The Abacus are uh, are many and many, but. Uh, uh, showing the, the correct and the incorrect way to change the, the buildings. Um, and we have weed lines for the transformation of the boundary and external areas to the urban core. Because we think that uh, this is a, 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 fragile, uh, a fragile zone. And so we have uh, also this. Uh, uh, oh, uh, the rules for uh, for transformation of this uh, external area. We we think that uh, we have to change from rule that uh, means lawfulness in abacus that uh, means uh, quality. This is, uh, uh, in my opinion, another important term of uh, of discussion also in uh, uh, in the way of preservation of uh, of ambient. the bus tour uh, uh, this day, so I want to uh, take up too much time for a presentation about Hansa and its history, but I uh, will point out some 
specific, uh, specifics uh, about uh, the ideas we have for the future planning and also related a little bit to the history. Um, maybe for the other ones that didn't meet me, my name is Matthias Bielby and I work as an architect and town planner for the municipality of Hamsta. Over here, and the other one is uh, a little bit further on on the screen. Um, so that could be interesting uh, to, to discuss for you, for example, uh, how do we work with reuse of uh, different areas. Uh, a little bit uh, reminding you of the history, uh, and I'm going to point out in the last of my presentation what you are going to focus on your discussion. But this is Hamsta, uh, a, a picture, an aerial view from 1928. And uh, you have the city square here, and the church over there, and you have the river of Nissan. Um, so you can see it was quite uh, rural, even uh, a small town, even in 1928. So uh, nowadays we are uh, on, you see the small bridge over there. So on the right hand side, uh, uh, we can see the industries with uh, the pollution and so on. Um, so uh, it, uh, that is sort of a problem that we have a city that has expanded for several years and it has been planned for car traffic mm -hmm. and nowadays we have uh, large problems with uh, converting uh, the traffic to more sustainable systems for, for example bus traffic and bicycle and uh, walking. Uh, just to remind you uh, how uh, the area uh, of Hamsta is, we were in uh, Tylesand in the west. Uh, it was raining a lot, but you were seeing the small island outside Tylesand here. Uh, this is the area of Sundrum in the west part of our city. Uh, uh, that's a quite uh, uh, well income area with lower houses, a lot of green areas, for example, and quite nearby to the sea. Um, on the, the right uh, side we follow the, uh, the street and we have these uh, areas with, for example, this is uh, the area for the university. Um, and uh, we have a lot of dwellings and higher buildings here. So, so this is uh, uh, the east part uh, of Hamsta divided Halsta into two parts uh, with the railway in between or, and perhaps the river and, or Nissan as a barrier and itself. So we have lots of um, industrial areas. We saw uh, that uh, uh, separates the dwellings from the sea. So that is also a sort of a problem that we can work with. Uh, could we transform the industrial areas in the, the east parts that will also uh, be more make these uh, uh, living areas more attractive in the future. Yeah. And uh, the east part where we have these low income areas that are quite densely populated and it can bring problems that they stay densely populated but there will also be possibilities uh, that you can have more service for example, uh, you can combine uh, living with uh, good transportation systems and other things if you are more densely built up. Uh, of course we have a lot of things, qualities, uh, we didn't have time to walk around the city centre and it was raining but uh, this is a better view of our uh, pedestrian street, uh, Storgatan in the historic centre. Um, and uh, uh, usually in the summer there are a lot of people walking there uh, and uh, there are a lot of uh, restaurants uh, having uh, outdoor restaurants and so on. And it's important to work with the city centre and renewal of the city centres. Uh, we talked, for example, on the bus tours that we have two external centres and maybe they will conquer out the historic centres as uh, important places to do shopping and so on if we don't make efforts to make it still attractive. We work uh, with preserving all the monuments and this is just the castle of Hamstad. Uh, it's also important that we uh, work with the area around the river and this is the city library where we are today and the pedestrian uh, bridge yeah. and uh, on the left side uh, you have the historic side, uh, uh, town 
and uh, we try to make more connections uh, <coughs> to make the river not the barrier uh, that, uh, 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 but mere uh, something that relates the two parts of Hamsta uh, <coughs> together. So uh, in the historic times it was just a transport corridor now we want to reuse the areas around uh, the river of Nissan to take uh, uh, the values of the qualities. It's important, of course, to uh, have meeting places in the city, especially meeting places that uh, different ages, mm -hmm. different cultures, etc., can meet. And uh, Hamza is not uh, always crowded, especially not in this way, but this is when uh, you have a city hall over there and a church, and it's an aerial view, and the sun arrangements is uh, full up like this. So, uh, how can we make the cities attractive that we have? not perhaps this much people, but still uh, uh, attractivity, uh, still attractivity during all the year. <coughs> Transportation systems, of course, this is the, the existing uh, transport uh, uh, railway station. Uh, and uh, as I told you on the bus tour, we are planning a new travel center, because Hamstad today is very uh, split uh, with regional buses and um, the railway station and also the local buses are separated in different places and it doesn't make it easy for people to change between uh, those areas and it will be easy for people to just use the car. Uh, it's important to discuss if we renew, how do we renew uh, if we make new uh, areas for living, how should they be? Should they be like we have planned in Nisa Strand or Gandadulla where we are today? Is it in interesting to, to live in the areas nearby the water or have this modern architecture near green areas, for example? Uh, but how can we do it less expensive? Because this is areas that are not all people can live in. What could we do to make it more, well, uh, several other people can live here. What's the problem so we can lose, uh, choose to solve? Some more pictures from the area in the better weather. Uh, Nisa come with different uh, uh, apartments and pedestrian streets and so on, but still very expensive to live in. Or is it perhaps interesting to live in smaller houses and what uh, uh, has it, uh, has it, uh, does we, do we have to work with, with the connection with traffic, for example? This is uh, uh, the energy effective house um, in uh, Sundrum, that perhaps you remember on the bus tour, the Sundrum should be, that is a new um, area for living. So uh, is this the area for quality? Passive houses for active people, as the slogan says for the municipal housing company that's building these houses that are small houses but uh, very energy effective. Uh, we have this sort of strategies in our comprehensive plan or master plan just as uh, we were told about ASTI. Of course you have to have a sort of overview of what are you planning so that you don't do smaller things that don't fit together. And we talk about uh, the dense and the mixed City. We want a more dense city than you see the coastline over here. And uh, the, those orange no. dots are symbolized for the spots where we want to concentrate new areas for living, working, etc. Along transport corridors for bus traffic. And we also want to make a green structure. Uh, for example, we have the coastline that is very important to keep and connect each other. Uh, each each green area together. So the green and uh, the blue and uh, uh, sort of uh, black structures are, are all equal together when you're planning. Uh, I won't point out every detail in this uh, because it's just an, uh, our overall plan and uh, the yellow areas are areas that we want to then mostly for dwellings, but as I said, we want a combination of uh, dwellings and working places. Uh, the purple areas are areas that we want to 
uh, have bigger industries and they are mostly related to transport corridors by railway so we don't have to use car traffic or other transportation with cars uh, for the industries. Uh, we have these strategies for the green structures and the, the green lines are the one we want to keep that is important and the red ones is missing links in the green structures. And this is just uh, the amount of how uh, much we want to build in the future. Uh, it's 9,800 new uh, uh, apartments or row houses and so on until 2030. And uh, this is the industrial areas, about 500 hectares. And we're also creating a new bus system that is very easy to reach from every, uh, every place that you live uh, today and also the, the living areas that we are planning. So uh, the red lines are the bus lines that we are planning and um, it's uh, 400 meters from every bus st station is the limit uh, that we say that nothing more should be built up. Uh, because it's the area that you, you will be able to walk. And we also made strategies for the bicycle roads. And the blue lines are the lines that uh, already are existing. There are quite a lot of bicycle roads in Hamstad. But the red lines are the ones uh, that are links that are missing. And uh, the, the purple ring around it is symbolized. It's, uh, uh, five kilometers from the city center. So uh, it's important to build it within this circle if you don't want to, uh, to use car traffic too much. Uh, this is just a picture of the travel center as planned uh, by the old railway station. <coughs> this is a vision of uh, the buildings along Nissan. You have the industries uh, and uh, see in that direction, you have the historic, uh, uh, historic village on uh, the right side, uh, and these are the areas we are planning to reuse that was used for industrial purposes. And those are areas uh, are, uh, uh, are not, uh, uh, they are <coughs> preparing to do some of uh, these areas on the right side, but not on the left side. Uh, this is a, a picture with a lot of information, but it's the city center, and we have the railway station over here. Um, and the yellow areas are just areas that we want to rebuild or reuse for new dwellings. So it's about 3,300 uh, new flats or apartments or other things. So, at last, uh, what, what uh, uh, are you going to discuss? And you can, of course, discuss whatever you want. But we can give you some examples. Uh, the main tasks are uh, to discuss uh, uh, related to uh, this meaning of, of how it relates to your <laughs> Number two. Ah, you do it. Unity is a. Uh, two people from the group do it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I work with the... Everybody is quiet now, please! Thank you, Jennifer! I work with the second group and we talk about uh, quality of life in general. Um, what is quality of life uh, for, uh, for us? Uh, so we said that uh, quality of life is uh, uh, very linked to both culture and the material things such as uh, the home, 
and or a war. And uh, we said that the quality of life, the perception of quality of life, changes um, in uh, in function of the of the age. Um, Sorry, in which way? In which way? Uh, because, um, for example, uh, young people uh, uh, think about uh, are interested in uh, different things. Uh, so, quality of life depends on the, on the age of people. Um, the other discussion, the, the other part, um, was about the meeting place meeting places and um, we talk, we have talked uh, about uh, the center for young people uh, so we said that uh, for example in Asti uh, we haven't uh, a center of young because uh, it closed uh, last year or yes. Yes. while uh, Han Hanstad uh, has a, um, a big young uh, center um, for uh, 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 concerts and uh, similar, and uh, they have also uh, four Gratis. rooms uh, for the bands who want to uh, play. <laughs> and uh, they have a room for the bands who want to play games, uh, video games, uh, etc. And um, while it was the work, because you you are not supposed to explain everything, just kind of things. Um, How was the work together? Did we go to the... Uh, no, no, it was fine. It was fine. And fine. Fine and fine. Perfect. Woo! 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 And nature, and how uh, things are different in Asti from Hamstad, and uh, what is different and how it's different. And then we came to, yeah. Our difference? Are they different? They're very different, especially in the system. This system is really different from yeah. the Italian system. Okay. Which part you work on? Did you find the translations to the very good. Thank you very much. Uh about a lot of things. <laughs> um, for example, how we take care of our old parents and grandmothers in Asti and in Hamsta, and uh, meeting places for young people. Uh, also about uh, immigrants, for example, uh, and uh, uh, the houses, the difference between our uh, house and uh, Swedish house. Um, other arguments are, yes, uh, how the young people, what the young people do in uh, weekends, for example. Uh, there are a lot of differences between uh, uh, Italians and Swedish people. Yeah, and we also talk, talked about school, and uh, that here you have to go to school, and it's quite the same, nasty. <laughs> yeah. Have you had good discussions? Yeah, it went very well. <laughs> there was a group number five. There was a group number five. Non hai detto che ad esempio c'è alcuni esempi che portano i bannoni. Ma sopra, non ti conviene per questo, devo vedere se quello che mi ha fatto sotto. Pensavo anche per il fatto che cosa. Ehm, and then we talked about democracy. 
and um, meeting points and uh, how uh, important they are uh, for the society. And uh, yeah, that was about it. And also we ended up with immigration um, problems that people have, both have in the house that has to so it was a lot of discussion there. And uh, well, was involved? Well, the elderly uh, Italians were, were a lot involved. Ah! Yeah, that was good. Um, I think we all got a chance to talk. So, yeah, that was good. Maybe a suggestion for next time it's for everybody to, let's say, to respect. Uh, time to talk. Yeah, but I, I think we, I think we had it. Uh, ah, cool. But it just uh, maybe next time more. Okay. Okay. This is all right. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Ci sono le polpette di riso, credo. Ma no, forse le patate. Forza, sai? Ah, sei a tutti. Sì. Sai quella roba? Ah, oh, quella mi piace. No, ma perché?